YouTube bringing you our video how to speed up your LG G3 sometimes it has lag issues and all of that so first of all you want to go into your dollar and each of uh, each carrier has a different code I'm gonna try to put the codes in the link below um, this is this this um way of speeding it up is all thanks to a senior X XDA member Stefan 063 is a genius I'll leave uh, his link below also if y'all want to thank him or donate I have the T-Mobile version so I'm gonna put in the T-Mobile version code real quick All right, I put it in and this is what the list comes up. Now, step two, that's step one. Step two, you go down to high temperature properties. Right there, it says off. I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna turn it on. Once we do that, We're going to turn off the, G, the G3. Turn that off. <clears throat> once you turn it off, you're going to wait for about 10 seconds once it goes off. Then you're going to turn it back on. Turn it back on. Once you turn it back on, you're going to wait for about 30 seconds. Wait for 30 seconds until the lock screen appears, basically. That's to turn off the... You know how sometimes when you try to fix the auto brightness, it just won't let you go up higher? This gets rid of that so you can stay at 100% no matter how hot the phone gets. Alright, step two. We're going to put in the same code. Whatever your device specific code is, it'll be below for whatever carrier you have. We're going to scroll down to uh, Thermal Demon mitigation thermal demon mitigation there it is right there thermal demon mitigation we're going to turn that on we're going to switch that on right there after this we're going to turn it off again Turn the device off. And then we're going to wait for about 30 seconds. Then once we power the phone back on, you're going to wait again until the lock screen appears. And then you're going to wait for about one minute until the phone finishes syncing and all of that. And there you go. You have it. Your phone should be extra fast. I think that was about 30 seconds. Turn it back on. <clears throat> Let it do its thing.
As you can see at the top it's still sinking and all of that. Just let it do its thing. For about 60 seconds. Now I'm going to go to a speed test because before this, my phone used to average about 10,000 on Quadrant. And let's see if this really works when it comes to, you know, benchmarks. I know it's going to work with the brightness. It's not going to turn it down. Probably opening and closing apps going to be a little bit faster than before, but let's see what happens with the benchmark. I don't have the S5 next to me, but I don't feel like going to get it. Just so you can see the difference in the benchmark, because the X5, the S5 be flying. But they say Samsung be cheating on their benchmark, so take that with a grain of salt. It doesn't really matter anyway. There you have it right there. As you can see, it's still average about 10,000 on Quadrant, which is terrible for a device coming out this year every other phone the, the HTC gets about 22,000 every other phone is faster than this when it comes to benchmark but still the number one phone on the market in the US right now today I don't know about next month or in a couple months but today it's the best phone out the screen alone every other phone is obsolete Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment, and peace.